Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with my layout share for December. I will have or have already had a video go live with my um, December daily flip through. And so these are my 12 by 12 layouts that I completed this month for different hops or my advent calendar. And I just put all those lovely little things right there. So to get started when in the beginning of the month on the second, this is a Lisa Sikorsky sketch for Scrap a Sketch. And uh, it is recipe number one for her scrappy, sketchy extravaganza. And if you haven't checked that out, please go to Scrap a Sketch on Facebook. It, you will not regret it. It's an amazing place to find sketches. Um, this is... All of the sketches are by Lisa Sikorsky. Uh, I used some Chamel. I used my Scrapping Reflections stencil in the background. And I documented Halloween <laughs> at my school or book character day. Um, I am a crocodile. Yes, yes, I am. Um, so I added in a little flare from the flare hut up at the top. And I love the way this layout turned out. It's very busy, very busy. This right here is from Paper Crafters YouTube Hop, and it is Tis the Season, our hop in the beginning of the month. I believe it was the fourth, maybe, or no, it would have been the third. I used a new collection I've never used. It's shiny paper. Um, it's Color Play, which is like Photo Play, um, and it was a new collection from them that, to me, I don't know if it's new in general, but it was new to me and um, just documented some holiday fun. There are videos for both of those. This is Scrap Lift Crafternoon, and we were scrap lifting Love My Life of On Paper. Um, or no, My Life on Paper. <laughs> um, and that would have gone live on the 4th. I was just documenting with some Echo Park papers, um, documenting my sweet little puppy. Haha, <laughs> he's not a puppy, he's almost 11. And where he likes to hang out when I'm scrapbooking. Um, this does not have a video, I don't believe. This is for um, Scrapbooking the Day Away, a site by my friend Anne Marie Bryant. And she, I'm on the design team. She gives us a new sketch uh, every week. And this was our sketch for, we only did a couple of this month. Um, but this is a sketch. I turned mine sideways, but I was documenting Cookie Day 2022. And um, this is some Echo Park papers. Um, and that would have been posted on her site um, on December the 9th. This is another Scrap of Crafternoon, probably one of my favorites for this month. We were scrap lifting an Instagram person, Jules D, J U L E S D, and her layouts are amazing. Her original is stunning. You should go check her out if you're looking for some inspiration on Instagram. I selected to use the Plum Grove by 49 and Market um, because my mom has like a plum colored shirt on and I love how it turned out. Um, that would have gone live on the 11th. This is my Dottie About Flare or the Flare Hut. <laughs> Look, that's the first time I've messed up with that lately. Um, this is the Flare Hut My Design Team uh, layout. Um, it's not by a sketch. It's not a scrap lift. It's just me tossing stuff together. I decided to use um, crepe papers, busy sidewalks. Um, I love the way this turned out. And I titled it The Help because my nephew and my son and, of course, my mother were helping. And then, of course, in the middle is my nephew pup who helped by licking up some of our mess and catching some flour on his face. Um, and I use three of my design team flair on this layout. The other three get used on my, um, uh, December daily, which like I said, I share, um, in another video. And this would have gone up on my YouTube channel on the 12th of this month. This one here is, takes you back to the summer. Um, this is day 13 from the Flare Hut Advent color calendar. And so these three flare came from there and they were bright and cheerful. So I thought I would pull out my Sweet Rush from Vicki Booten and document my son's haircut before school started back for his eighth grade year. Oh, how'd that happen? 
So same day's advent calendar, but this is the advent calendar for the holiday. And these two both, I believe if they don't have both have a video, one's got a video and a layout share. Um, but I think I may have done them both. I can't remember you all, honestly. Um, this is an Echo Park collection. And like I said, day 13's advent calendar. Another thing where I just kind of put the layout together. It was not a sketch or anything. This is another recipe challenge from Lisa Sikorsky. It's recipe seven um, for scrap a sketch recipe extravaganza. I did bring in some flair to add on here, and I used my Open Marshall um, Buenos Dias because I got a ton of it, and I need to use it, you all. I got to use it. Um, and so that would have a video that would have gone up. Um, mm, I can't remember what day that was, a 20-something. Um, this is a scrap lift craft afternoon. I pulled out my 49 Market Sher uh, Spectrum Sherbert, my favorite. Um, and it is a scrap lift craft afternoon from the 18th. And we were scrap lifting an Instagram person, Lacey Lynn, another awesome um, person that had lots of inspiration for us. Uh, this is Echo Park Papers, and this is 14 Days of Christmas, as well as Day 19 of the Advent Calendar from the Flare Hut. And this is my um, Pink Fresh Friday, which would have gone up on the Friday before Christmas, so the 23rd. And I used Office Hours to document my trophy that says Trophy for Awesomeness that my former principal sent me in the courier. Um, so I love the way that layout turned out. It was a whole lot of fun. And yes, that stays on my desk, y'all. I need the encouragement. <laughs> uh, this is for scrap, um, for Simple Story Saturday. I used Family Fun by Simple Stories, obviously. And this would have gone up on Christmas Eve documenting game night with my kids and my best friend and two of my kid, my daughter's friends. This one is just a layout that I created because every month for 2017, I'm going to do a, a cover page for the beginning of each month and ordered double um, all the papers and things for the good stuff um, by Simple Stories. So you'll probably see a, a couple of these getting made in my Simple, Simple Story Saturdays. But for now, I've only done January and October. And I love the way they turned out. I love these papers. They're so fun. So... There is that. There is not a video for that one, I do not believe. Um, this one is for 14 Days of Christmas. It went up on the 27th. I used the Gingerbread Christmas. Um, this matches a layout I did um, another time, like it flip-flops with the color scheme. And is just my kids and my nephew and niece, as well as my dad, on Christmas. This one is an advent calendar. Um but I'm not sure which one, but I love the way that, oh, day one, this is day one's advent calendar, um, and, and more Echo Park papers, I think, um, <laughs> this is another advent calendar, day 16's advent calendar for the color, um, advent, and I love this, the way this turned out, this is an Echo Park collection, and it's something about, a. Uh, dreamer little dreamer something like that document of my daughter's birthday back in 2017 Ooh, that was my ipad just fell right over this is for crop and robin she uh, sends us a little kit every month um, if you order them and she just gives you a small little kit you create a layout with those items and so these two elves the present the tree and those two little polka dot background papers um, are what were in the kit and I just documented part of cookie day 2017 um, and uploaded those and also used day 14th advent a couple of um, or one of the flare from the advent calendar this is also for Crop and Robin for a um, uh, the Survivor that we're doing. And I use Day 19's Color Advent and some Echo Park Papers. Something about the pool. This, oh, you all, this. This is off the board from the 28th. I use My Dog and Bark by Echo Park. And I, not much of it because you can't see much anything paper-wise except that background. I love the way this layout turned out. That is my grand pup. He is the, my very first. His name is Blue, which is part of why I picked this color. And I love the way it turned out. You can see what who I was scrap lifting. Um, 
It's at fromscrapbook.com or something. And it is on my Instagram and probably my Facebook. Um, and scrapbooking the day away on Facebook. So, oh, I love the way that turned out. And I'm so glad I remembered and was reminded to do off the board. This is my day... Uh, the last day of the month, third, th oh no, the 30th. This is my design team sketch for scrapbooking the day away. Of course, once again, I turned it on its side. I am going to go back and do this the right way, um, or not, you know, not the right or wrong way, but the way that she intended it, um, because I love the way that these papers, um, like the design of the sketch. So I'm going to go back and do that. But I also added three flare from the flare hut and I use Vicki Booten's evergreen and Holly. It's one of my very first, if not my very first, um, use of that. And this is my mix it mixed media mayhem. Um, I just completed this. I started it on Friday, the day it was due because they posted, um, the layout late, which is fine. Um, and so I just got it finished literally right before I started recording this. Um, so I started it on the correct day, but by the time I got done with it, it was later. It took me about an hour and 20 minutes to get it done, which is pretty long for me, but I mean, it's full of stuff, full of stuff. So that is, um, uh, print shop by Vicki Booten and a ton of mixed media. I use five different colors to douse it up and then five different flare from the flare hut because they have some print shop flare and I have some of it, actually quite a bit of it. And so I was excited to use it. I thought this was the perfect opportunity. And then last but not least, I got to start off the scrappy or the sketchy recipe extravaganza with scrap a sketch. And I got to do the last layout for the sketchy recipe extravaganza. That is so exciting to me. And I love the way this turned out. I was a little scared with that black background because I was thinking about white, but all my papers have like a white base. This is the most recent Hip Kit Club collection. Ho, ho, ho. I did add a couple of flair for my collection. And other than that, everything is from... Um, and the background paper, of course, is from the Hip Kit Club. Um, ho, ho, ho. That's the 2022 December release. And I love the way it turned out, you all. I was not sure, <laughs> but I do love it. So all of those layouts make me so happy. This month has been crazy, and I wasn't sure how many layouts I was going to get done. Um, it is still the early on the 31st, like 1 o'clock in the morning, I think. Um, and so, ooh, no, 2 o'clock in the morning. Whoops. So um, I could still get some things done on the 31st, so I'm not going to give a number for how many I've completed this month, but these are the ones that I did for hops. So starting in January, I'm going to be doing a new year old stash so I can get rid of some of the stash that I've had in my state space for 20 plus years or whatever. So I hope you'll come along for that and I'll be back for lots of different hops and everything as well. So I hope you all have a fantastic new year, a great day and happy scrapping.